Hello, it's another weekday. We've had a bit of a late start today. Me and Isabel are both feeling quite grotty with our cold, so Isabel's had a bit of a lie-in. There's a washing up mountain. And also a laundry mountain. That laundry mountain is one of two. There's another one up there. Luckily I've got a 30 minute wash cycle and quite a big washing machine. It's coming up to Halloween here. Look, Izzy's been designing her pumpkin. Let's see what she's been doing. Oh, I think that's supposed to be a Cyberman. Simple but effective. I do believe that is a character from Doctor Who. Is it Strax, maybe? And what else have we got? Oh, the TARDIS. Yes. One of my very first Halloween lanterns was a watermelon. And I remember my mother making it for me to take to brownies. It had a great big smiley face. <laughs> Always forget something. There, that's better. Ta da! That is there. Because I'm supposed to be defrosting my freezer. I've been supposed to be defrosting my freezer since the summer holidays. I can't quite eat my way through all the veggie mints that's in there. You see, I didn't realise what was in there because it was so full. And I kept buying veggie mints when it was on special offer because it was really expensive. But I didn't realise I had like five full packets in there and there's only so much a girl can eat. Oh good, I think that's done. Luckily I do have a tumble dryer these days because my dad gave me one that was going spare. There, that's that going. I've hung a few things up to dry but I'm trying not to do this too much anymore since I've discovered Izzy has a mould allergy. I'm sure Drying clothes on radiators and on areas in the house doesn't help. Ironically, now the sun is out, it was raining. <laughs> there is a big black cloud over there. Right, it's coming up to the 31st of October, chaps. Anyone who's self-employed and does paper returns will know. You've got to get your tax return in. I think I could probably do it online, you know. I should probably just learn to do it online. I'm being a Luddite. I just know how to do it on paper and it's so quick because I've already like done all the maths and everything back in May. It's just filling the form in. My house is relatively decluttered and tidy at the moment. That's because... <laughs> right. Give me ten minutes. I'm going to find my tax return paperwork. I've got out of the habit of filing this year. I'm going to get back into the habit of filing. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I have no idea why, but it stinks of cigarettes in this cupboard here. I think there must be, because I've like literally got exposed wool here. Um, it's plastered everywhere else. But I think there must be some vent or something where somebody somewhere is smoking and it's getting in. My pillow smelled of cigarettes the last two nights. I changed, I got up at like 3 o'clock in the morning, changed the pillowcase and it still stank. And I have no clue why. Other than it must be getting in through a gap somewhere. I have recently had new neighbours on that side and they do smoke. The last ones also smoked, but they smoked on the doorstep, I think, because they had kids. Whereas this thought, maybe they smoke in the house. I don't know. And it's getting in from somewhere. Anyway, the rest of the house is absolutely fine. Doesn't smell like it at all. So it is quite a mystery. Got it! Found a little pile of stuff I could chuck out as well. Good. Ah oh, no, look, it's raining again, so I'm glad I did tumble dry the washing. She's uh, well up now and breakfasted. She's doing her maths, and I'm going to see if I can fill this tax return in while she's doing that. Good, that's that all done. Right, we've got left in the way of stamps. Second class, that should do it. Next year, I'm going to do it online. You heard it here first. I have actually tried several years running to do my tax return online and every single time there's been like some weird glitchy problem or they've wanted some information that I just couldn't access or I couldn't get into my account every single time and it's like stalled me but this way I just know it can be done but I know probably it's actually taking longer. Ah oh, good I'm so glad I've got that done. That's been niggling away at me for quite some time. That's the second load just gone on. Next job on my list is to ring Izzy's allergy clinic. She's doing English upstairs at the moment. She's got some worksheets to be getting on with. That's part of what she's doing. 
So Izzy had this allergy test done. I don't know, I think it's like back in March or something like that. It was absolutely ages ago. She got tested for 200 things. It was a really, really super comprehensive one that they don't normally do for normal humans. <laughs> but she qualified for it. But I just can't seem to get my hands on the results. They are in. I managed to wheedle them out of the dermatologist who looked them up on the records, even though it wasn't his department. It should have been the allergy specialist department. But our appointments are a bit spaced out. I suppose because of the limitations on the NHS. <sighs> but anyway, I think basically my theory has been that they don't want me to know what Izzy is allergic to because they're afraid that I won't feed her anything that's on the list and I think almost everything's going to be on the list. Which isn't true because I appreciate that you've got to eat. <laughs> and there are things I give her that I know make her a bit worse but it kind of can't eat nothing so I think that's what it is she pretty much said so at our last appointment pretty much everything Isabel is breathing in eating drinking almost everything is affecting her skin and making her itch so there is nothing I can do to avoid it I think that's why they don't want me to see it but she did promise me at that last appointment that she would put the print out of it in the post and it still hasn't come it's got to be what two or three weeks later now I haven't been keeping count but I think it is so I'm gonna ring them now it is now hailing next job on my list is to find a lost folder that I use with my pub band and we've got a pub gig tomorrow a Halloween themed one we have to dress up I'm just gonna not think about it for now I'm going to get lunch and then I'm going to do some more education with Izzy. Just knocking up a quick stir fry with some rice. There's my rice all done in the microwave, look all fluffy. It's my special technique, got that from my mum. <sighs> it's now mid-afternoon, the lurg is back. I'm feeling rotten. Isabel's just going off to do the last bit of... the last bit but one of her schoolwork for the day. She's got an ARIA assignment. She has to write about... Is it the changing attitudes towards marriage in society? And then after that we've just got Portuguese and then we're done for the day then. And then my work starts then. <laughs> oh, I so don't want to sort that folder out. <laughs> A mais facile cantar. A mais facile cantar. Easy to sing. Yeah, fantastico. Well, it's Friday afternoon and we're all a bit tired, so we're just finishing up with a book. I'm going to just make our way through this a little bit. Shh, é um segredo. It's a secret. Well, it's about 20 to 6 now. I have finished doing school with Izzy for the day. We don't spend that many hours at it. Honestly, it always probably seems like that's all we do all day, but we don't. We have lots of breaks in between times and do bits and bobs of housework when we're having days at home as well. Anyway... I finished her school. I'm gonna go and practice my flute now and sort out that folder. So I'm gonna end the vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye!